viewers how are you in today's video i'm going to rebrand huawei p9 plus which is uh, basically an open market version but it belongs to uh, normal region i think most of the users know that uh, what is uh, region uh, in huawei phones so i am going to rebrand it to middle eastern version so that i can get uh, uh, more updates um, from huawei the rebranding uh, actually is used to remove uh, your uh, current operating system from your phone and uh, then we can install a non-branded or you can say the open market firmware on your device this is called rebranding most users who buy a phone from uh, operators like tim e in uk and uh, movistar in latin america so these users don't get updates very frequently so all these users can rebrand their phones to an open region or you can say non-branded uh, firmware they can install by, fo by following the same method I am going to use in this video but files are different methods method is almost same but you can uh, you should use uh, the file which is compatible with your phone so you have to google it and you have to find it viewers another important thing about rebranding is that you will lose warranty so if you care about your warranty, phone warranty then you should not rebrand your phone so let's start viewers as you can see i have c900 cast version on my phone which doesn't belong to any region so the first thing you need to do is enable oem unlock viewers i will suggest that you remove any screen locks or any pattern lock or fingerprint from your phone before proceeding now i will get my bootloader unlock code from huawei official website which you can also get it uh, for free by providing the information uh, which is uh, asking in this uh, form on this website okay i have got the code now now i am going to connect my phone in fast boot mode you can connect in fast boot mode by switching off phone and then hold volume down button and connect with pc now type the command fastboot oem unlock and then your uh, unlock code and press enter when you will press enter on your phone screen to last you want to show you are sure you want to unlock press volume up and then press the power key to continue now your phone should reset and uh, your uh, phone's bootloader will be unlocked as you can see factory research had started okay the phone just booted up after factory reset now i am going to make initial setting viewers uh, i have told you already that you don't need to set up any fingerprint or security lo screen lock code anything until we finish so i will just skip all these settings and uh, now i am at home screen now I am going to enable developer options again you can enable developer options by tapping seven times on uh, build number so I am going to tap uh, seven time on uh, build number I think it's up okay here it is okay it is saying now you are a developer go back and uh, you can see developer options here make sure you enable OEM unlock it is it should be unlocked and uh, USB debugging also need to be on enabled once you have enabled o, uh, USB debugging now you need to connect your phone with your PC and uh, allow the adb permissions uh, on your phone screen tick always allow and now we are going to use srk tool an amazing tool developed by a developer from i think he is from thailand okay it is loading okay now you need to press any key to start and uh, now we are going to flash the recovery 
uh, custom recovery uh, on our phone so we will select uh, the third option as you can see it is showing in menu just press three from keyboard and press enter now you choose which device you want to you, you are going to use so we are going to use p9 plus and then which recovery you want to install we are going to install uh, twrp recovery and uh, then press yes you have to you just have to follow the, the this um, these instructions on your screen i am in debugging mode so i will select the d okay now the process will start okay now my phone has been started in fast boot mode automatically now i have to uh, press uh, i think i need to press any key to continue and then it will start flashing the custom recovery which is twrp recovery uh, it will start installing on my phone okay installation has been completed now it is saying press any key when i will press any key phone should reboot to normal mode okay phone has just booted up now again in uh, this tool you need to select the root option and then choose which phone you want to root my phone is on number two so i will press two and then uh, it is asking you have already installed wrp yes we have installed then press yes and uh, now it will try to detect uh, phone device will reboot it is saying device will reboot after pressing yes i mean writing yes so as you can see when i typed y the device just booted to twrp mode in TWRP mode on first screen you have to swipe the blue bar to enter the main menu of uh, uh, TWRP and now we will see what instructions it is showing now it is asking me to enable ADB side load in TWRP recovery for which we need to tap on advance and then enable ADB side side load and uh, you just need to swipe to enable it and uh, press yes that you have already enabled side load so yes it is asking swipe we already did and uh, now it is uh, flashing the root, root files uh, on your device so it is going to take few seconds only okay it's done now it will say uh, are you are you root success tap type yes and uh, now your phone should reboot you can press this reboot system button in twrp recovery to reboot your device now we have successfully rooted our device and next step will be changing the oem info or you can say changing the region of our device which was actual purpose of this all procedure phone is just booting up after uh, root once uh, phone is up we need to select the utilities uh, in srk tool on our pc because now we are going to rebrand it we are going to change its region tap on utilities and then tap uh, on uh, number nine which is change oem info and then select the model you want to rebrand it's number four huawei p9 plus and then the region you want to choose i am going to make it uh, middle eastern version so i will choose the number three option if you want asian you can select number four option okay it is asking are you sure you want to continue yes we want to continue okay device detected and uh, now it is uh, going to back up our original information 
our original OEM info viewers you need to provide root access on your phone screen at as it is asking me so after providing the root access now it will change your OEM info with the Middle Eastern version so this process is going to take uh, one or two minutes okay now it's flashing our uh, new oem info to our phone it has been completed now we need to press any key to continue just press any key and phone should reboot automatically the next step we need to do is uh, download uh, the firmware from the region that you want to install on your phone like i have uh, changed uh, it to middle eastern version so i am going to download the middle eastern uh, firmware for my phone and uh, i will install it uh, to make it uh, middle eastern variant if you are to if you have choose uh, the asian oem info then you have to flash the asian firmware on your phone so now i am going to I have already downloaded the firmware for my phone so which is Middle Eastern uh, firmware so I, I am now extracting the zip file to get the update.app file now copy this deload folder to your uh, SD card viewers make sure you use SD card because uh, sometimes uh, internal storage doesn't recognize the update files so I am also using the SD card I will just paste uh, this deload on my SD card. Viewers, I will skip this uh, step just to make the video shorter because it is showing 21 minutes. So I will just skip. 8 minutes left okay almost completed now we need to do is uh, flash stock recovery of p9 plus again open the tool and uh, connect phone with pc and uh, now install recovery is number three and select the p9 plus is number at is at number six now select the first option which is stock recovery plus yes and uh, my phone is in debugging mode now it will detect the phone and it will flash the stock recovery after flashing stock stock recovery you can install the firmware that we have just copied to our SD card viewers you cannot uh, install uh, firmware marshmallow firmware by using the twrp recovery you must need uh, stock recovery to install the middle eastern firmware or whatever you are going to install okay it is saying phone started in fast port mode i think my pc cannot detect the phone i will just uh, try to replug uh, my cable to make sure uh, my pc can re recognize my phone okay my phone just appeared in my device manager so now I am going co going to continue with the recovery flashing okay the recovery has been just flashed now I will press uh, a key to continue my phone is rebooting now switch off our phone and hold volume up volume down and power key all together to start the upgrade process uh, of firmware after this uh, orange message you, you should keep pressing the buttons until update uh, start screen appears on your phone
okay now this installation is going to take uh, another uh, 10 to 15 minutes Once upgrade finished, the phone should reboot uh, and uh, I think it just started the encryption process. Only in some cases phone uh, starts uh, encryption. So you should wait uh, until it finishes the encryption process. It is going to take another 7 to 8 minutes. So just have patience. After encryption, phone should boot up normally. As you can see, phone just booted up. Now I am going to check the build number. It will be converted to Middle Eastern version. As you can see, it is showing C185 cust version in build number. So this is how you can uh, rebrand your phone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.